Hello viewers, today we're at the top of Los Castellanos and I'm just walking down from the Castle Harbour and the Oasis Apartments. You might be coming here later in the year maybe, you're booked to Castle Harbour or the Oasis or maybe you've been there many times and you know this walk well. We're going down the hill, quite to be honest it's quite easy going down the hill, going back up to a different story, that might be a taxi job later on at night. It's quite a steep hill, but good exercise. It takes maybe about 10 minutes if you're walking fast, which I'm not really, down to the beach in the promenade. We're going to pass the Passerella Shopping Centre, the El Mirador Strip. So we'll walk down to the El Mirador Strip just to show you some of the bars and restaurants on your doorstep if you're staying at the Castle Harbour or the Oasis. We're also going to pass the Paradise Park Hotel on the left hand side here. So if you're staying at the Paradise Park for the first time, this will give you an idea of the location where you're based. Again, it's up quite near the top of the hill. The Paradise Park used to have a courtesy bus that would take you down to the beach. I don't think they're running that at the moment, but maybe we'll make a comeback because things are definitely getting busier here. Let me know in the comments below if you stayed in the Castle Harbour or the Oasis Apartments. What one do you prefer? What would you recommend? And if you've stayed in the Paradise Park, let me know if you prefer that one. I've stayed in the Paradise Park, it's quite a nice hotel. I would recommend that one, especially for families. They've also got a rooftop adult only pool, which is a really nice pool with great views. They've got a pool bar. So it's pretty nice, that's the Paradise Park there. You always recognise the Paradise Park when you're coming in the taxi or the bus because it's a blue building at the side. You've got a few wee bars up around the corner from the Paradise Park, including Shakespeare's if you fancy a, a wee pint or a Sunday roast to do that as well. Now you can go straight on there if you want and then down left towards the promenade and the beach as well. That will take you down the back of the wee strip of bars at the Finchel area and also the bars at the Buddies and the Swans quite close to there. But if you're just heading straight to the beach, all you do is just keep going straight ahead. It's really simple. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Kevin. I do mostly walks in Tenerife. I've also got some videos in other Canary Islands and the occasional Scotland one thrown in as well. So if you're interested in that sort of thing and you're at a loose end, you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the good news is it does not cost a penny. You just click that wee button below the video that says subscribe, hit the wee bell next to it that says all notifications and you get a wee message when I upload a new video in Tenerife or some other places. So this is basically all the Paradise Park property on the left hand side. We're going to come up to Casey's Bar just in a minute. Now there is actually an entrance to Paradise Park here, which occasionally you can sneak in to avoid climbing the hill a wee bit more. Sometimes it's open, sometimes it's not. There we go, Casey's Bar, that's a nice bar. And if you're a YouTube fan, you've probably seen this on the McMaster channel or the Night Strider. It's a nice bar that's open at the end of July. It's going to be open in a few days basically. a nice coffee shop on the left hand side here, it's very popular. Always people in it, I never go by it and it's empty. Yeah. 
Passerella Shopping Centre on the left. There's not that many shops in there, but up the top, it's quite good. They've got the Arctic Bar and they've got Funland for children. So if you're looking for a soft play area, that's the place to go. That's in the Passerella Shopping Centre. We've got Love India, Indian restaurant, it'll be open later on. Around the corner you've got Manhattan's as well, you've got the overseas restaurant. So you can see if you stay at the Paradise Park, Castle Harbour or the Oasis, you've got quite a lot of bars and restaurants right in your doorstep. You don't even have to go right down to the promenade in the beach. Manhattan's there. Very affordable menu, pint one euro fifty. Attic bar at the moment is open at two o'clock, so it's not quite open yet. And that's just round the corner, and the name speaks for itself. The attic bar, it's up the top of the shopping centre, basically, right next to the kids' play area. You've got Highland Paddy up at the top of the hill there as well. That's open. It's doing entertainment at night as well. Let's just finish this wee walk, we'll go down the El Mirador strip. At this time of the day I don't expect this strip of bars to be that busy. It gets busy later on at night. Bojangles on the left, live music bar, that'll be open later on tonight. They do lots of food in there, and I think it's owned by Chinese family, so they do some nice Chinese food. I had the chicken curry in there the other night, it's quite nice. Happy days will be open later on. Gigi's is a place to go if you want to watch the horse racing. It's on just now, Euro 50 a pint, can't complain. Victoria restaurant on the left, I've heard that's nice. A random shop selling beachwear and amongst bars and restaurants on the left there as well. We've got Dylan's. Doesn't open till later on. It is open, but it just doesn't open till later on. And the same with Taylor's Lounge. Taylor's Lounge is open as well, but it won't. It's not open till later on. Give me a comment if you've been there watching the football. Great bar for watching the football. It will be open later. It's been really busy actually the last few days I've been in. A lot of people coming in and out. And you'll recognise this wee bit here if you're a fan of Taylor's Lounge. When it's open, there's always high chairs just sitting out here. People relaxing, having a wee beer. Here's Lacanda, which will be open again later on. Now, everybody tells me this is a really nice restaurant, and when I go by it in the evening, it's always really busy, which is a good sign. And it's nice inside as well. Daily Delights in there, it'll be open later as well. And a wee glance in there. I recommend in here as well. Again, add a chicken curry in here. That's two places, chicken curries. We've got some good deals. Three course meal for €12.95. Good selection of starters, mains, and dessert. 